So, you want to know how to make a marble material? Well, first I have to install the cabinets. Hey guys, welcome back to Touch by Kai, I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender once again, taking a look at uh, how to make a marble material in Blender 2.8. Uh, and this is it right here. It's uh, super simple. Really only, uh, what is this, it's five, six, eight, seven nodes. Um, I can't count. Uh, and it's, uh, it's pretty simple. Let's, let's break it down. Let me disconnect everything except for the first little tiny bit. So the first thing we have here is, of course, the principal BSDF shader. We're going to plug this in uh, because that does come by default. The only thing I did, I did was add a little bit of subsurface. And I changed the subsurface color to very slightly like bluish, lavender-y kind of-ish cover color. Uh, specular and specular tint all the way up, roughness around 0 0.09, uh, sheen all the way up, sheen tint can go all the way up, clear coat all the way up as well. So, once we have that done, I want to go ahead and hit Shift A and search for a color ramp node, this bad boy right here. And we're just going to put that right here. Um, we're going to put that into the base color of the principal BSDF. Now, the two colors we're going to use is white and black. We don't even have to change it because it, it comes like that. Um, and then we're going to grab a Musgrave texture, which is a Shift A Search Musgrave texture. Um, we're just going to plug that into the color ramp. Now you can see when we do that, nothing happens. Uh, there we go. Now it's popping in. Uh, there we go. So now what we have is uh, have the scale on around 7.5, uh, the detail all the way up to 16, uh, and then these two are the same, I believe. So. Uh, after that, I, I really like the way this looked because it looked really nice and detailed, but it looked kind of small and kind of like the same to me. And I know Marble like has this, like random patches here and there, and like there's bigger pieces and blurrier pieces and splotchier pieces and everything. So I really wanted to go ahead and kind of reinforce that. So I spread this open right here, and then I grabbed a mix shader, which is Shift A, Search, Mix, Mix Shader, and then I just plug that right in to the uh in between the principal bsdf and the mix material output and then i grabbed uh, and i duplicated sorry so hit b to box select all three of these bad boys and i just hit shift d to duplicate them and then i just dragged them down here now these three are practically the same as the ones above the only difference is is that um let me plug this in uh, I'll plug this bad boy in right there and then unhook that real quick. So these two are exactly the same pretty much. The only difference is that the second one does not have subsurf. So turn the subsurf off of the second principal BSDF. As you can tell, we have subsurf up here, but not down here. Uh, now, the only, thing I, uh, only other thing I did was I changed the settings for the Musgrave texture um, from 7.5 to 3.9. Uh, and then the details on 5.4 and I didn't change these as well So if I plug this in now you can see that it looks something like that which has nice splotchier pieces as compared to that So looks quite cool. I do like it quite a bit But the only other thing I did was it came by default like this and I thought this looked really bad Which obviously it does so I went ahead and turned the factor down to 0.3 And then we uh, we were we were chilling because that looks really good so uh, in comparison to that, which also looks good, I, uh, I wanted to mix it up a little bit, add a little bit more detail in there. So yeah, I hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed today's material tutorial. I will see you in the next one, but until then, bye bye.